I don't even know where I left off. Getting into the city, haven't even got there yet. Hi, it's Tarina and welcome to Story Tea. Insert like cool animation. Yeah, this is happening. It's stupid, but it's my thing now. So today I wanted to do a story time type of video. I haven't done these on my channel and I want to start incorporating them just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So today's story time, as you could tell by the title, is when I met Wendy Williams. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup and we're gonna just chat about it. I'm going to try and tell you guys the products as I go. If I don't say them, then I'll list them down below or just put it across the screen. I'm gonna be using the ABH Norvina palette. This is the volume three. Look at these colors, they're super beautiful. So I'm gonna try and create I don't know, something, something nice and colorful. My brows are already done and I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyes. I'm gonna just use the Kylie concealer. I think my husband's home. Either my husband's home or somebody's trying to break into the house. Hold please. So I'm still alive, nobody broke into my house. That was my husband. Thank you for your concern. I went ahead and set my eyelids. The time that I went to the Wendy Williams show, that's where I met Wendy Williams. And I went in December 2015. If I'm like not accurate on like times and stuff, I'll make sure to put it down below. This is my first story time, so I already know I'm gonna get distracted. I'll put the products and like if I need corrections or anything in the description bar. So just make sure to check there. December 2015, I believe is when I went to the show. This is when I was living in Pennsylvania. It was really close to get to it. So the first time I went with my mother-in-law and I thought it would just be really fun to go. So I just went on the website and requested tickets. A lot of people don't know that, that a lot of talk shows and like food shows, like the Dr. Oz show, um, a lot of the shows you could just go on the website and ask for tickets and they're free. I did that. And the second time I was requested back to go to the show because Wendy Williams was, I believe, sick around that time and she missed a show or something happened to where something happened. And so they were requesting guests to come back. She was gonna be giving out gifts around the holiday time. I was like, oh, sure, I'll go. But this time I went by myself. From Pennsylvania to New York is about four hours. I'm gonna be using the Precision Crease Blending Brush. This is the L216 by Stelazzi. I'm gonna start off with a five, this one right here. The second time I went, I, oh my God, look at that pigment though. Hmm, okay. I had to get up super early because it's an early morning taping and to get to Pennsylvania, to New York City, I didn't know if there was gonna be traffic or anything like that. So I just wanted to make sure that I got there on time. So once I got to the city, and to the studio, you have to wait in line. They email you the information of what you need to wear and um, pretty much your ticket, that's it. There's not a lot of information that you really need to know. Once I got there, I waited in line with everybody else. <laughs> then you wait in line and then when they're ready for you, they pretty much open up the doors and you go into like this little room and you pretty much kind of wait. And then they have, I believe it was a, like a questionnaire or something like that. So if there is a certain segment that they're looking for people on, like best dress, or if you have an ask Wendy question, that's where you fill the form out. And then they'll see if they want to pick you for the show to be a part of that segment. When you're waiting outside, depending on what time you get there, you should always get there early. But depending on what time you get there, there's a lot of regulars that goes to these shows. Like, I don't know what these people do for a living. When you wait in line, there is really good conversation. You really just become friends with these people, like joking around and just like chatting, waiting to get in. While I was in line, I met this really, really sweet lady and we were chatting it up when we got inside of the waiting room and they were asking questions and like looking for people to do certain segments. She talked to one of um, the people coordinating 
that situation <laughs> and she was like oh oh she she's dressed cute and she would be great for this or whatever so i was like oh okay before i got to the waiting area i kind of knew what to expect because i've been to the show before with my mother-in-law i brought extra clothes this time so that the clothes that i was wearing when i was waiting in line i wouldn't be all sweaty and stuff when i got to the show while i was talking to this lady i actually went to the bathroom and did my makeup and changed my clothes my shoes and stuff like that when i got out one of the coordinators i say coordinators for lack of a better word if i find out what the word actually is i will insert it once i got out of the bathroom and had my clothes and everything put together i actually got picked to do a segment they take the questionnaires and they kind of just look through them to see okay we want to have this question asked or what have you they take all the people that they think might be a good question to ask and they just kind of gather them all up you stand in line and they ask you additional questions the question that i had put down was asking something about my mother-in-law mother-in-law likes to clean out our fridge when she comes to visit us which i don't really mind but it's it's weird sometimes i was going to ask her a question about that my ask wendy question did not get picked i went to go and sit down then once they're pretty much ready to begin taping, then they take you into where they tape the show. You go down this big, like, it's almost like an industrial elevator. They take you down this big elevator and then they start placing you where they want you to sit. For this one, I sat directly in the front row, like right, right on the ground floor. When I went there, the decorations were just so, so beautiful the lighting there is just so bright and the music is so loud it's just like it's a straight up club when you get in there i was here for all of that you know i got there and then i just kind of took my seat when you first get there and they're just kind of seating everybody and getting everybody ready for stuff it's like a big dance party. So they have twerk competitions, <laughs> which I love watching. So <laughs> I let everybody else do the twerk competitions, even though I love to dance and all that. I was just like in the background, just watching everybody. So they give out prizes and stuff for this twerk competition. And once that was over, then they kind of start prepping people and getting everybody together to see like who they want on a segment. For this show, I actually got picked for a segment called, Who's That? Yeah. Well, okay, Tarina, here we go. Um, what we do with Who's That is we scramble a celebrity photo and then you have to guess who it is. And I would appreciate if our other co-host didn't help you. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually made it on this show for that one and I won this super cool prize. It's like a Dyson vacuum that I still use now and I absolutely love it. Okay. Going back, let me actually focus on my eyes. I started out with this shape right here using A5. I just kind of blended it out and blown it out. So now I'm going to go into A3, which is this pink color right here. I'm gonna start building up that color. Once everybody was getting seated and I was picked for the Who's That segment, that coordinator pretty much just like preps you to see if you're comfortable in front of the camera. I'm sure they also try and see if you're crazy or gonna do something weird on television. I don't know, some people, girl, some people. <laughs> of course, I was not nervous. I was super excited to be there and everything. Throughout the show, they just check on you to make sure that you're still good. You still wanna do this? <laughs> Going back to when you first go to where everything is filmed, the set, like I said before, is really beautiful. And then they have the twerk competition. After the twerk competition, you see Suzanne, and Suzanne is just kind of like hyping everybody up, along with Marco. Marco is like hyping everybody up. And let me just say, everybody is so incredibly nice. Every single person that I met 
from walking in initially to being outside where the line was, every single person who worked there was incredibly nice and sweet. They were smiling, they seemed super happy. You can even tell the interaction with Wendy. Everybody just seemed like they were just so happy to be there. She treated everybody so incredibly nice. It was just such a cool environment there. Can we just stop and take a look at this pigment though? I know I'm all over the place, again. It's story tea, baby. It's just my first one, so let's roll with it. Still building this up. Once I was basically seated and the twerk competition is over, Suzanne comes out. She's basically hyping up the crowd along with Marco. Pretty much that's when the double doors open and Miss Wendy William comes out. When I tell you people are hyped, people are so hyped. It's like a nice buildup. Get there, you don't really know what to expect if you're new. You just kind of sit, there's a twerk competition, so everybody's already hyped. I mean, people are shaking it. People are getting it, you know? People are just having so much fun. The music is loud, it's like a club. You're already super hyped. And then there's like another level of hypation. Like hype because people are twerking, and you're hyped because you know Wendy's coming out, the show's about to start, and then the double doors open, and then she comes out and you're like, woo! All that excitement that you see on TV, it's like super genuine because it's just such a vibe when you're there. It's so cool. Everybody's hyped and then that's when the show starts. There is a pretty good distance between where Wendy is and they're taping where Suzanne is and where the audience is or co-host. <laughs> it's kind of interesting because it's kind of hard to hear Wendy as she's talking as the show is going on. Even sitting in the front row was a little hard for me to hear, but I could still participate and of course Suzanne is there. She encourages everybody to participate and clap, but all the reactions from everybody are genuine. You don't know what she's going to talk about ahead of time. We're reacting all like naturally to everything. Once she goes through hot topics and continues with the rest of the show, this particular show towards the end, she had the segment about fashion and what somebody was wearing. I can't remember the name of this segment. It's like a similar to like a best dress. And there's a segment where you get to play a game. For the game, it's pretty much like TV magic. <laughs> They're not super hard games or anything like that. So once it was my turn, you know, of course you wanna act like you're excited. You don't wanna make it too easy. So that's kind of the vibe that I had when I was playing. Well, I played the game and of course I won. <laughs> Games are super simple, and then I won my Dyson vacuum, and then I just kind of went to my seat after that. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit more color because why not? Go in with some more orange. I'm gonna take this one right here, this lighter orange, that is A2. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner using the same brush. This is the Color Blend L211. After the game is over, I just pretty much, you know, watch the rest of the show. Everything is just kind of getting wrapped up. Then Wendy comes out and she greets everybody. During the show, if there's any breaks or anything like that, in between segments, she will talk to everybody and greet everybody. But towards the end of the show is when she really does the greeting because, you know, she doesn't have to be on anymore. She can kind of just wrap up everything. Once the show starts to wrap up and everything and filming is done, she kind of goes through and takes selfies. She was so incredibly nice, just like from the beginning when I was just kind of watching everything and up until the end, she was nice to every single person. When I won the Dyson vacuum, she actually asked about you so that she can give you a prize that you would like. And I thought that was super cool and such a personal touch. So I'm gonna use this ColourPop E14 brush. Just wanna line my eyes really quick. I didn't mention about the guests. So the guest was Tristan Wilds from The Wire. It was really cool watching his interview. Once she got done interviewing Tristan Wilds, then he was able to pick a gift 
And the gift was basically what the audience would take home from the Wendy show. We all won a trip and luggage. I know I'm going all out of order, but I figured that you guys should know at least who the guest was, right? It was such a fun day and I really, really enjoyed myself. I'm gonna go ahead and continue this look. Using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation in the shade 405W. And I'm using a synthetic brush by Morphe. This is the M4. Three, nine. Now I'm just taking my beauty blender and blending that out. So have you been to any show tapings? Gotta go to at least one. The thing about tapings is that if you've been there before, most times they'll request for you to come back because you're already familiar with how things are set up, especially if you are local to the area and they need to fill up seats for the show you might get an email. So it's like just a super cool thing to do if you don't have anything going on or you just wanna take a trip and just have some fun, I highly recommend that you go. I had a blast when my mother-in-law came. She had a blast. When me and my mother-in-law went the first time, we actually sat pretty close to the front also. I was really trying to get her to do the twerk competition. I thought that would be hilarious. She was like, no, I'm good. I was like, Burnt. Would have been really cool to see my mother-in-law twerking. I could just see her now. Go ahead and add some concealer. I thought that this was super fun. I have some other stories to tell you guys about. When I think about other story teas, I kind of laugh to myself because there's so many ridiculous things that I could tell you guys about that I will. I really hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This is in the shade Peanut. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this blend this out. I am setting this with my mystery powder. Just a bunch of mixtures of a bunch of random powders. I don't know why I do my mouth like that. <laughs> Let me not do my mouth that weird. I look like a camel. Who does that? Hopefully the lighting is a lot better on this video. I am filming during the day. I try and film just when I can. On my last video, the sun kept on going in and out and in and out, so I just did the best that I can to try and get decent quality, but I wasn't really happy with the quality of that. The other thing is I'm expressive with my hands and I have to get in the habit of not hitting my microphone because I know that can get really annoying. I'm trying over here, I'm trying. I am going to line my lash line with this LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. This is in the shade Metallic Copper. Go ahead and finish the lower lash line. I just used a synthetic brush. I just dip back into A5 and press that color into the lash line. I wanna try and fill in some of the gaps of the story. <laughs> the show is obviously in New York, and it's between 7th and 8th Avenue. If you're looking for parking, I used an app to find out where the closest parking garage was around that area, and it worked out fine. I didn't have to walk very far for parking, and my car was safe. Since I decided to go really early, I was worried about food, if I was gonna have something to eat close by, but there's like tons of places to kind of walk to and eat. So you don't have to worry about that if you arrive early and you are planning on visiting the show. As far as dress code, I think I briefly covered this or discussed this, but they want you to obviously dress to impress, but they don't want you to wear anything like black and white or really busy patterns because that kind of can look odd on camera. Right now I'm just dipping back into B3 and still smoking out the lash line. I think that's pretty much it about the show. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this makeup look now. I'm gonna take this bronzer by Fenty in the shade Caramel Cutie, and I'm taking my Bedellium Tools 990 brush. I'm gonna just bronze my skin. I'm going to take this blush by Beauty Counter in the shade Raspberry, and go ahead and add that. And I'm going to take this highlighter by Pat McGrath. This one right here. I'm 
I'm gonna take the same highlighter and like just highlight the inner corner of my eye. And just bring that up into the pink. Now for lashes, I'm using the Lashes by Flutter. Lashes are now on and I went ahead and added some mascara to the lower lash line using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star. This is Family Jewels. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and then I'll be right back. So here's the final look. I really hope you guys like my first story tea. How you do it? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out my other videos. And my website is serena.com. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.